for <laughs> hoping to be. So. And hopefully shooting instead of speaking. Exactly. Okay. That's always the goal. Thanks. Safe travels. Thanks, Lexi. Lexi Keller joining us here this morning in Medellin, Colombia for the women's matches and now stepping in to join us for the men's team matches, Carmilio Cardona. Stepping in and joining us and Carmilio, good to see you. Thank you. It's good to have you with us and uh, that had to be fun watching the women win the uh, women's gold medal match. Well, yeah. Let's go see what happens today with the other teams. We will see what happens right now. We're getting ready now for the men's team bronze medal match. And this features France, the team from France, qualifying fourth this week. And it features Dominique Genet along with Sebastien Penault and Christophe Dussault. France getting to this bronze medal match by defeating India by one before losing to the United States by five. And they will face a team from El Salvador. El Salvador, number seven after qualifying. El Salvador defeating Denmark by two, then losing to Italy by seven. And the three shooters for El Salvador today, Roberto Hernandez, Rigoberto Hernandez, and Miguel Angel Veliz. Now you're familiar, more familiar obviously than I am with the uh, El Salvador shooters. Tell me a little bit about El Salvador. You, you've shot against them, I'm sure, a lot more than most of us have seen them shoot. Well, actually I only have shot against them one time in Central American games. There was uh, Jorge Jimenez mm -hmm. instead of uh, Miguel Angel Belis. So they are um, a good team, they shoot really good. Roberto is the best Latin American in the ranking. So it's going to be an interesting match. It was inter it's interesting because it, it brings together Roberto Hernandez and Sebastian Peinot. And those two got together last year and hooked up in the men's gold medal match. That was a good one. Yes, it was. And it went to Sebastian Peinot, but Roberto Hernandez put on a great performance that day and at one point had a very good chance to win that match. So we begin. Seb Peinot, who is feeling a bit under the weather here. I had a chance to speak with him during the warm-up session this morning. and <laughs> If he's feeling under the weather, I'd love to feel under the weather if I could shoot like that. Yep. I want to feel the same too. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he's got, we want it. <laughs> Dominique Genet, the 47-year-old veteran, just a little bit high. Now, Seb told me that this gentleman, Christophe Dussault, is really not feeling well. Let's see how he handles it, though. I guess when you make it to a medal match, you just have to shoot. It doesn't matter. You have to get off your deathbed to come here and shoot. That's true. You only have to think about uh, the match to do it good, and you can go to other time. Sure. Yeah. Shoot your match and then go back to the room and lay down yeah. and collapse. That's true. <laughs> Roberto Hernandez. Yes! So a strong start for both of these teams. Miguel Angel Veliz, 32 years old, ranked 264th in the world. Made the transition. And now Rigoberto, the 40-year-old, Averaging 9.4 points per arrow. A little bit low and starting to feel the wind pick up a little bit, Camilio. Well, uh, the people from Warchi told me in the afternoon it's going to be a little bit more windy. Mm -hmm. So. Of course, the arches are protected just a little bit by the museum that's behind them. And they are shooting towards the east, so any wind would be at their back. Hopefully that would be advantageous for these archers. They know with a nine, and now Dominique Genet. Does he nick the line? The 
They post a nine for him. So Dusso shooting from the left side. Dusso, 37 years old. All right, then. Dusso dials in. Diaz, correct? Yep. Nueve, okay. Diaz. Better. Better, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. In any language, yes. <laughs> as long as you put it in the middle of the target, doesn't matter how you say it. Looks like ten. Ten, Diaz. Diaz. Trenta. Miguel Angel, looking for his first World Cup medal. Coming oh so close. Almost got it into that 10 ring. And now Rigoberto needing a 10 to stay within two of France. Diez, nueve, ocho, Getting the siete, countdown. Seis, cinco. With five seconds to go, yeah. releases it, and it's a 10. It's my impression, or all the teams have their the arrows at the left side of the target. So France off to a quick start, leading by 258-256. Talk about your week a little bit. What was it like to be here at home, so to speak, in Colombia? Well, uh, shooting at home, it's a little bit stressful because you want to do it the best thing that you can. So you usually put a more pressure for you and your shooting. So that's hard for me. I didn't shoot really good in qualifications. Uh, on individual game, I shot 145. It's not bad, it's not good. It's just in the middle of that, and the other guy shot 146. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm mean, agree with that. And in the team rounds, we lost against the US team by two points. But for that one, I feel really, really good. I shoot 78. So it's interesting you brought that up because I was just talking with Lexi Keller about that very same point about how it could be a, an advantage competing here at home and could also be a disadvantage because there is a little bit more pressure. Yeah. That it is, because here are, here is your family, your people, so you want to give them uh, a good show and good results for the country. It can be a little distracting, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose. But it's nice not to have to travel halfway across the world, too, isn't it? Well, I like to travel. Oh, uh, okay. You like airplanes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Cardona joining yours truly, Carl Arkey, here on Archery TV. Live and in color. And what color it is from Medellin, Colombia. Stage two of the 2016 Hyundai Archery World Cup Tour. And El Salvador trying to come back from a two point deficit at the start of this match. And Roberto Hernandez. Just a little off target with that nine. Not bad, but not the 10 that he wanted, obviously. Needs a little bit of help right now from Miguel Angel Veliz. Bien. And gets it. Yeah. Rigoberto Hernandez. A team bronze medal in Ulsan in 2009 at the World Championships, and that is not what he wanted. He left it out in the suburbs. So an opening for Seb Peno. Sebastian ranked third in the world. The gold medalist here in Medellin last year in the individual men's gold medal match against Roberto Hernandez. Dominique Genet, who had a chance to win a bronze medal with his team two weeks ago in China, trying to come through this week here in Medellin. Right now, France is on track. Christophe Dussault. 
who had a pair of tens right, in the opening yes. end. Now he's got three in a row. He's going for the 80. And if he's sick, it, doesn't, it does not show. Sebastian Peno told me that Dussault was really not feeling well coming into this yes. match. But boy, oh boy, he's getting to feel better. Roberto Hernandez got to feel better after that shot himself. El Salvador yes. starting to come on strong. Salvador with a strong week, <laughs> defeating Denmark before losing yes. to Italy by Nueve. seven. We'll see the Italian Ocho. team in just Siete. a moment. Seis. Cinco. Yes. And with a clock yes. winding yes. down, a beautiful oh. shot. Right on target. Three straight tens to finish off the second end for El Salvador. And now, after that eight by Peno, that brings El Salvador back into the match a little bit. Ça a peu ouvert, en fait. Il y avait la volonté, mais ça a ouvert un peu. Dominique Genet won a team gold medal here in Medellin three years ago in 2013, the first year that the World Cup event was held here in Medellin. Now do so, who is yet to miss. And I jinxed him. <laughs> Pardonnez-moi, Christophe. He'd had three straight tens, and then he comes up with a nine. <clears throat> Excuse me, so. We'll check the scoreboard, but it has tightened up just a little bit after the first two ends. In fact, it's tightened up considerably. We're tied at 113 all now. France did have a 58-56 lead after the first end. And now midway through the match, we're tied up at 113 all. It was an eight and a nine, or excuse me, it was an eight, three nines, three nines and an eight by France that allowed El Salvador to get back into this match, Camilio. So it is 1-13 all. And basically anybody's match here in the men's bronze medal event. Dominique Genet. Hoping to avoid what happened two weeks ago in China where Australia defeated France in a shootoff. <laughs> Right now, these teams all even at 113 after the first. Six arrows shot by, or excuse me, 12 arrows offered up by both of these teams. This, of course, the final year that will be coming down here to Medellin for a World Cup event. It has been a great four-year run. We, uh, I know, speaking for a lot of people, we have loved coming down here. It's been, it's been wonderful. I think it's been great. Well, it helps a lot of, of the archers here because they can see their idols, they can talk to them, they can take a forest with them. So. You think it's helped the sport here in Colombia? Yes. Just by having this presence and having people like Sebastian Peno. Oh, yes. strikes gold. <laughs> France hoping to get back on track after faltering just a little bit in that second end. Janet puts another one away. Now can do so. Ooh, no he can't. That one veered way, way off target. And it's a tremendous opportunity right now for El Salvador. Roberto Hernandez. Very close to catching that line. Almost got it. The silver medalist from Medellin last year. 
Roberto Hernandez with three other World Cup medals, all of them team bronze medals, trying to add his fourth here today. One, two, second, go on. Uh, France giveth, and now El Salvador giveth back with an eight. Well, I think you can feel the wind a little bit stronger. So maybe in the field, it feels more. Uh, that's what Becoming a little bit more challenging out there. I think so. Rigoberto. Had to have a 10 to keep pace with France. He came up with the 10 he needed. We're tied at 140 apiece. Hey, no. Out in the red ring. Both teams very strong to start this match. This way, he can. And Dominique Genet. Puts France back, back on track. Do so. An eight just moments ago, and a nine this time. Oh, excuse me, a seven. He had the seven moments ago. That's a sign of a good archer. Can shake that off and come back and come up with a much better shot the next time. That's true. There is where you can see the good archers, the good people, the good athletes. They come back from a bad situation and can give up mm -hmm. again the one one percent. A better effort. Yeah. He grimaced as he released, and you can see why was not happy as soon as he released that shot. So again, Rigoberto in the position where he must have a 10 to keep his team even. Yes. And that will not happen. It will be at least a one point lead for France heading into the fourth and final end. 167 to 166 unofficially right now in favor of France in this bid for bronze medal. It's so interesting to see how things go. France shoots a seven, and you would think that would have opened the door wide open for El Salvador to take advantage, and yet El Salvador with at least two eights in that end, not able to take advantage of that. Well, I told you the wind's a little bit stronger, so maybe the archers there are, try, are, are fighting, fighting with the wind, mm -hmm. and maybe that's why. When you contend with those conditions, what is that like for you when the wind picks up? Especially if it's different at the start of the match and then changes and becomes more significant as the match goes on and becomes stronger. Well. My coach always told, tell me to make a strong shot. So that's it. That's all I do. Mm -hmm. A strong shot to the middle. If the arrow goes to the one side, you can uh, aim a little bit to the other side. Or if you want to, you can move your side. And that's it. I was going to ask you, how much do you move your sight if the wind does pick up? Well, it's more of sensation mm -hmm. that uh, exact number. I just feel it's uh, it's stronger. I will give it to more uh, more than if it was a little bit softer. So it's trial and error, basically. You have to yeah. just try it and find out if it works. You have to know your side, your equipment for your whole setup. So France leading by one, which means El Salvador will lead off here in the fourth and what could be the final end and a very, very close shot by Roberto Hernandez. Just it left it outside the 10 ring a bit. Peering through that peep sight, Miguel Angel Veliz. Out in the red zone again. It would appear 
tu sais faire. Although they have scored it as a nine. Peu de trick qu'il y a, c'est So he must have just caught the line. Rigoberto Hernandez. So three straight nines for El Salvador. Can France start to put some daylight between themselves and El Salvador? Sebastian Peinot. Providing an answer, yes. Allez, Dom. Bien solide dans l'arc. Dominique Genet, the bronze medalist at the World Cup Finals in Mexico City last fall. Et voilà, Dom. And showing why he was a medalist at the World Cup Finals last fall. Allez, Tof. Bien en ligne, solide sur toi. Christophe Dussault. Et eh ben voilà! 10, 10, 10. Allez, encore une chacun comme ça, les trois sont nickel. And the lead. 3 points. Non, 4 points. points has blown out to 4 with 3 arrows to shoot. El Salvador backed into a corner right now. And they have to match those 3 straight tens. There's the first of the 3 that they need. Belize trying to preserve any chance El Salvador has of getting this gold medal. Tad high on that shot. Good effort. Rigoberto. The 40-year-old Rigoberto with a strong finish. He has shot extremely well in this match, don't you think? Well, he shot like two bad arrows, but that's it. Only tens after that. Yeah, he did have a, an eight on his third arrow. Second arrow. Second arrow. And a nine in the ninth arrow. Dominique Genet has been strong throughout. And France needing just seven to win. Dussault to do the honors. Christophe Dussault for the gold medal for France. Or excuse me, the bronze medal. And the bronze belongs to France. Christophe Dussault. With a 10. Feeling under the weather, but feeling fine just now. That's what the doctor ordered right there. That will cure <laughs> what ails you, a bronze medal. And a great strong performance by the team from France here in the men's bronze medal match. And so Dominique Genet gets the bronze medal that eluded him two weeks ago in Shanghai. When France lost to Australia today, though, France comes away with the victory. Dussault, Peinot, and Dominique Genet. Thumbs up and the victory sign for France. As those three started off strong, took a two-point lead after the first end. They were tied at the midway point at 113.